Leadership teams are a common way to manage people, particularly in larger organisations and growing small businesses. But not all leadership teams naturally come together and work well as a group. My name is Belinda. I work with leaders and leadership teams to optimise the way they work together as a team and with their own teams to build their skills and confidence to be effective leaders. Working collaboratively as a team doesn't naturally happen for all groups. It's really challenging when groups spend a lot of their time working independent of each other and it makes it hard for the group to come together and perform well as a group. When I work with leadership teams, I work with both the individuals to help them build their skills and confidence, but I also work with the group to help them function as a cohesive unit. Uniting individuals to bring them together as a team can be a formidable task. Every group member brings in their own individual values, communication styles, and sometimes even their approach to being a leader looks very different. When you bring a group together, there are really important stages in any group. Some teams naturally progress through the four stages of group development very seamlessly, from forming, to storming, norming, and ultimately to performing. But not all groups benefit from that experience. Some groups get stuck in the storming phase. In those moments, change can be elusive. It can be very difficult for the group to find a way forward. Some groups can get stuck in storming because there's lots of changes to who's in the group. There can be interpersonal conflict, or there can just be a lack of clear purpose about what the group is there to achieve. This is where I step in. Over the years working as a leadership consultant, I've worked with a range of leadership teams. I often consider that they exist on a continuum. At one end of the continuum, there are emerging leaders. They're new leadership teams, they're keen to learn, they have a, a clear vision of where they want to be, and there is a natural state of cohesion that exists. At the other end of the continuum, there are leadership teams that can be very stuck in the storming phase. Despite attempts to try and support the group to move them forward, change can be elusive. It can be difficult for the groups to really move past interpersonal conflict, constant disruption due to competing demands, or there can be a range of other causes that mean the group gets very stuck. When I work with leadership teams, I take a holistic approach. I spend time to really get to understand your organisational context and ensure that I'm clear about what the expectations are on that leadership. This is really critical to the work I do with any leadership team and I think ultimately is evident at the end of our work together when leadership behaviours are clearly aligned with those organisational expectations. If your leadership team is sitting at either end of these continuums, I'm here to work with you. Together, we can co-design exactly what your leadership team needs to help them ultimately become the optimised leadership team you hope for.